Does he know that um that you've done porn and stuff like that? Yes, that's my only child. I've been nothing but truthful with him about who his mom is. Okay. If he came home one day and told you, uh, Mom, you know, my friends was talking about me because they saw they found you on Google or whatever. Well, what would be late, your response to too, that? Too late because they haven't. And I just stopped for a minute. It it didn't it wasn't I would say here in Georgia it wasn't profitable. So what were you doing for money at that point? Going to work. <laughs> okay, just like working a regular yeah, job? working a regular job, you know. So then how do we get to the point to where we became homeless? What's up, YouTube? I have the best trainer in Atlanta and possibly the world. Hit him up on Instagram, at Katie with the muscle. Now back to the content. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews, out here with another one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? Hello, hello. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so are you homeless? Um, at the moment, currently, yes, yeah, seeking my housing, yeah. Okay, um, and so um, how old are you? I'm 31. 31? Yeah. And so how long have you been, um, you know, unhoused? Um, probably about two years now. Two years? Yeah. What was it that happened two years ago that caused you to become like that? Um, just, I mean, I think the adult entertainment, um, well, what they call stripping, um, adult entertainment world, let's keep it there. So is that like where, that's the world that you're in? Um, I think that's the world we all fall into, in the streets. Well, I mean, that's right, but specifically, like, you said adult entertainment, not me, so I mean, are you talking about, what type of adult entertainment are we talking about? I was just trying to sugarcoat Atlanta lifestyle, pretty much. Okay, really okay. What I was trying to do. Well, I mean, so, but what was it that caused you to become homeless, though? I'm still confused. Um, the lifestyle. Um, dancing, um, prostitution, um, and adult entertainment, porn. So you've done all those? Yeah, I've done pretty much a little bit of everything. Okay, yeah, okay. Much, well, we're going to talk about that. Okay. But I thought they made pretty good money. Like, I thought dancers make pretty good money. Um, I think everybody has their up and downs and it depends on what you're doing with your money. I mean, every girl has a different story. Yeah, every that's true. Girl, that's true. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So we'll, we'll, we'll dive back into that. Do you have any kids? I have one. I have a son. Okay. How old? My son is 14 now. 14. Okay. Um, who does he live with? Um, right now my aunt, my aunt has been, she's been in the picture since birth. So she's been my helping hand. Okay. So she's kind of like. You know, like y'all kind of mom together type yeah, thing. Okay. That's what the thing. Okay, okay. Um, and so I mean, has he been living with her pretty you say since birth? Yes. Okay, all right. And she lives here in the Metro Atlanta area? Yes. Okay. Um, is why don't you live with her? Is it not possible for you to live with her? Um, it's the best I do my own thing. We meet in the middle a little bit. Okay, so Once I guess we meet in the middle. I mean and, and you how old are you again? I'm sorry. I'm thirty one. Thirty one, right, okay, so yeah, I mean, uh, you say 14 years old, right? Yes, that's So mostly, that means you had him when you was about 17? Yeah. Okay, I get that's it. So you was, you was a young just, lady. And yeah, mostly she make in and sure he out. get through high school. You know, make sure he has a normal life, you know? No, I get it. No Most doubt, no doubt. Most girls don't make, you know, the right decision. Right? Well, I mean, or just don't have that auntie yeah, that's going to step up and, yeah. you know, be that help, you know? So, well, so kudos for that. don't have that avenue, let's say that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so, um, all right, have you ever been married? Um, no. No? Okay. No. So let's just, let's start from the beginning. So, where are you from? I'm from Decatur. <laughs> you from the east side? Yeah, I'm from Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out that dick, yeah. man. Shout out the whole east side all day, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What by Decatur are you from? By Candler Road. Candler Road, Road, all the area? Flat shows. Flat yeah. shows. Okay, okay. I ain't mad at it, man. So, all right, so growing up in Decatur, did you have both mom and dad in the household? I'm um, in the household. No, I had mostly my grandma and my dad. Okay, where was mom? My mom died when I was nine. Okay, I'm sorry to hear about okay. that. Um, was she not around prior to that? Um, mostly, with, like I said, with my grandma. I kind of, like, grew up with my grandmother. So, I mean, I'm going to ask, like, growing up, you know, did you ever wonder, like, why your mom wasn't more active and, you know, why she wasn't there around more? I mean, I watched my mom work job for job, and I watched her, you know, some nights we would have to go with my grandmother. So we ended up mostly there with my grandmother. So I think that kind of... So she lived there her. with you? No, no. Okay, what so... What I'm saying is we left our home, and sometimes we got dropped off at our grandmother's house. Right. So I'm watching my mom. She was a cook. I'm watching my mom work different jobs. So mostly we ended up, like I said, mostly over my grandmother's house. 
Okay, okay. Okay, um, and so I mean growing up, would you say you had like oh by the way, do you have brothers and sisters? Um I have one sister. You have one sister? How old? My sister's what, thirty four? Okay, so you're the younger sister. Yes. Okay, are y'all close, everything like that? Um, I wouldn't say close. Um Why not? I would call on each other when I mean we call on each other when needed. Huh, okay, we we might tap back into that. All right, so okay, so growing up, would you say you had like a fairly normal childhood? Um, I think I made myself grow up faster than I needed to. I did that myself. Explain. You know, actually talking, well, actually things happened like my mom died and I found, I found, you know, found myself falling in the hands of older boys. So I wanted to smoke. I wanted to go out. I like what to... age are we talking about? <clears throat> 17, 18. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, 17, that's when you, that's when you had your baby. So yeah, that's, that's you was probably I... b before that, right? Yeah. I'm getting out, you know, well, younger than that, younger than that, 16, 17. Yeah. Cause I did used to go to the Megaplex. We hung around in Decatur. We had, you know, the teen clubs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So, back in the day, man, they yeah, don't too much had that stuff no more. No, we had Tyler's, we had Megaplex. So yeah, I started smoking weed and stuff like that. So what that, age would you say you started made, like smoking weed and stuff like 16, that? 16, 16, 17, well 15, 16, 17. Cause okay. I started the little club promotions around like 15, you know. So, so. you was like doing like handing out flyers and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, Okay, yeah. okay. We thought that was cool to get No, to that everybody, you know, look, if you come from, stuff. look man, if you come from the hood or if you went yeah. to certain colleges, You've done club promotions before. Yeah. They all hit you when you first get there. Yeah, we thought it was cool <laughs> and stuff. So. <laughs> all right, all right. So, okay. So, at some point, it sounds like we got into the adult entertainment industry. Um, Yeah, that was a little bit on down the line. What age were we the first time? So, okay, um, let's clarify what we're talking about. Are we talking about, like, adult films? Are we talking about, like, you with your cell phone recording and putting it on Pornhub and stuff like no, that. No, we're talking about adult film, like a real company with a real budget. Like what? What name? One of the companies. Um, I did, I've done Evasive Angles. Evasive it's Angles. Company, evasive Angles. This is a company here in Atlanta. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I've heard of them. So okay. So you. So you're like you're official. Like you. Like are you Googleable? Yeah, um, I do have my. What's your um, name? What's your industry name? My name is Fat Cheeks. P H A T. Fat Cheeks. Yes. P H A T C H E. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, we go. Okay. Anyway, all right. <laughs> Let me be quiet. All right. So, okay. So, bottom line is that, um, all right. So, what age were you the first time you did like a porn film? I was nineteen. Okay. Okay. So, shortly after you had your baby and all that stuff. Um, how did you get into that? Um, well, my management had the connections for me. And well, I mean, how did you get a manager? Like, how did you get into it at all? Like, how did how did this even well, start? Well, it's just simple. They found me on MySpace. I went and met with them. I went and met with my manager. It was just another person. We went and met. We collaborated on a few things. And they gave me their, their what, they, what I would call their plugs, their connections. Okay, to like the like the bigger companies and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, to basically okay. learn how to do, do, to basically learn how to do submissions and learn how to get a company to view you or view your profiles. Okay, okay, and so I mean, like you know, how much money would you make doing those films? Um, it just depends. My my first deal was kind of was, it was like my first one was like nine hundred, was like two three scenes, but it was kind of like regular. What I would mean regular it wasn't any. It wasn't like hardcore or anything like that. Just like it was just like the regular doggy style, yeah. and you know what I'm saying, yeah, oral I, stuff like that. Yeah, I think it was just something to bait me in to see what I would, what I liked, it, what I would or wouldn't do. I think okay. that's what that was. And so, how long? So you started at 19. When was the last adult film that you made? How old were you when you the last adult film that you made? I was probably like 26. 26? Yeah. So you was doing it for a little while. Yeah, um, it kind of like spread out throughout the years. I gave my son. I gave myself time enough to let one video finish out, to let fans come and stuff like so that. So what would you be doing in between for money? Because you um, said you also did dancing and prostitution at certain points. Yes, in between, um, in between basically I did start to see clients because people did want to see who I actually was and the person behind the videos. So I did start to post ads. And that's what they call, you know, prostitution. You know, that's what everybody calls. So it. as we're talking about on like um like Liz Crawford. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right, hold on one second, okay? Okay, so quick interruption, but yeah, we was just talking about basically 
What you was doing for money when in between films you say it was spaced I, out? Yeah, I did start to see um, a lot of my clients. That's right. You said you're seeing clients. Okay. So, okay. We're talking about like, yeah, like, you know, you say list crawlers, kind of like back page, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. It's, but, okay. I mean, I guess that kind of seems like a downgrade. You know what I'm saying? It seems like you went from doing the films to like, Meet them in person. How much would they pay I you mean, to meet you them do, in person? You do have, <clears throat> you do have your client, your clients that come from different sources. The money varies. Like I wouldn't necessarily meet a client on this crawler that was willing to spend fifteen hundred. Now, coming from my personal website, and that is viewing and showing my porn, my porn star persona. Right. There would be your clientele that is going to pay a little spend. more. Yes. So it wasn't necessarily a downgrade. Okay. It's all depending on what you're actually offering. And just because you don't actually have to be offering sex. So some of them just wanted like companionship and stuff like that? Yeah, some did. Some did. No, I mean, like, I've, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. We, um, you know, we've had some folks on this channel say that, so. Yeah, um, I mean, that one says not just, I mean, you're going to have sex, but you, it's just what you're offering, too. If you're offering a little bit more than, yeah, there's a little bit more going on. So, okay, so like, and then because you, you say you danced at certain points, too, right? Yeah, I mean, I like doing deja vu at night. So I'm, not, I'm not really a, I'm not really a um, stage girl. I don't, I don't really want to do that. So I you just want to walk around and do yeah, the I personal dances? Yeah, I just want to make my money, yeah. How much would you make doing that on an I average mean, night? You can go into the into deja vu, um, kind of like overnight, kind of like probably about eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. It just depends. In a night? Yeah, yeah. The lease is like eight hundred. In a night? Yeah, in a night because this Jeez. is a, this is an after hour spot. You have to realize it's not. Regular so they come club. and they come in the spin. It's not, yeah, it's not regular club hours. So I mean, in the after hour spot, did other stuff used to go down to? I mean, like, of course you have. Okay. Of course you have. Uh, um, you have an upstairs or downstairs, well, mostly upstairs, or you know, where guys can pay a certain amount and go, and then they pay the, you know, the tech, the, they pay the session fee, and then they pay to also tip the girl. So they, you're looking at someone that has the money to spend right. to go, you know, back back with you. So it just let, let me ask guys. you this. Let me ask you this. So, you know, working in the sex industry, right? Um, and you know, having sex with you know porn stars and different folks, right? Do you actually enjoy the sex? It depends on the girl. <clears throat> well, I'm asking you. No, I wasn't really looking to enjoy it. I was looking to make my money. I went in with a common goal, common thought. Did anybody ever surprise you to where like you thought you was just gonna go in and just be chill or whatever, be about your money, but then it ended up being like really good sex? No. That no. Wow. Wow. No. Okay. No, I can dig it. I can dig it. I mean, I'm no. I'm asking for understanding and clarity. You know. Nah, no, you're getting you're getting what you're what you think you're gonna get. Um, I did in the past. I had a couple um for Valentine's Day, and they were really nice. They were a really nice couple, and the guy he was really really into getting the girl what she wanted. And I kind of really like enjoy having sex with that girl because this couple was really into and knew what they actually wanted and they were secure. They did not argue. It was kind of different. Did you, you used to get like a lot of couples and stuff like no. that? No. Okay. No, that wasn't a normal why, thing. That's why it kind of surprised me. And last Valentine's Day, I got to see them again. So that would make me see them a total time of twice. And, when, and Valentine's Day was just yesterday. Yeah, so. and I, I want, and I do wonder what they did. <laughs> you were thinking wonder. about that? Yeah, I did. Did you have a Valentine's? No, I didn't. No? All right. Hey, look, man. It be like that no. sometimes. It be like that no. sometimes. Trust. I, I know. So, all right. All right. So, okay. So, you know, um, you're 31 now. You say that you did your last film at 26. When was the last time you did, like, the actual, like, prostitution, the sex work? Um, it's been a minute because I got on another little path of my own, another little journey of my own. Um, and I just stopped for a minute. It it didn't, it wasn't, I would say here in Georgia, it wasn't profitable. So what were you doing for money at that point? Going to work. 
Okay, just like working a regular yeah, job? working a regular job, you know. So then how do we get to the point to where we became homeless? Well, like I said, you have things that happen. You have people at that point in time, I wasn't, I was, wasn't having my own place. I was renting, going here from there, hotel, to where you finally get serious. I mean, you're asking me about various points in my life, so I'm just giving you the various points. It's not like a timeline of things. It's not really a, a real timeline. Okay, okay. So, I mean, okay. I mean, you just said a lot of words, right? But I don't, I don't, I still don't really have a, a, a an understanding, right? So, you're not asking me a timeline. You're just asking me about certain things that happened in my life. You're not, act, well, you're not going on a timeline. Well, so wh whatever the timeline was, at some point you became homeless, right? Mm -hmm. And so I guess I'm trying to figure out why did that happen? Was it financial? Was it like, you know, you were working a job and then, you know, financial, something happened? Financial, working a job. It didn't work out. Okay, and then, and then things just got messed up from there. Okay, I get that. I get that. All right, so... Let me ask, I mean, why do you think you decided to go into the sex industry? Because I didn't want to keep having sex for money. I wasn't about to keep having sex for money. It's to make more money doing a film. Okay, so you was like, you know, this will be better for me or whatever. Let me ask you this. You know, it's 2023 now. Um, do you have an OnlyFans or anything like that? No, I thought OnlyFans was free. Yeah, because, I mean, it's still it's not free. You know, you could still have to pay a subscription fee and all like that. Is that something that you would consider doing at this point, or are you just over it? I'll go make one. You all can follow it. So you are going to make OnlyFans? Yeah, I'm going to make one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go and make one. So they, so they gonna, so, so people going to be able to follow you after this video? Yeah. On OnlyFans? Yeah. <laughs> I hope we're going to do a follow-up video so they'll know. They they'll can, know it, it happened? Know, yeah, they'll okay, know Okay, hey, man, we, we'll try to stay in touch. All right, all right. So at this point, what are we doing to try to get ourselves out of this position of homelessness or unhousedness? <laughs> um, right now I'm working with my case case manager. Um, we're working on a lot of things. I'm actually supposed to be going on a few interviews next week. So, like for jobs or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Job. And as far as housing, is that in the process? Yeah, with my caseworker. Okay, it's in process. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Um, let me ask me, how often do you get to see your son? Um, I see him a lot. I see him. I, well, there's no, there's no, you know, stipulation on when I can see him when I can't. I just go go to my aunt's. Okay, know? so you just kind of go yeah. here, there, whenever. How often, if you had to put an average on it, how often, how many times do you say you see him, like, a month or in a week or whatever? Three or four times a week. Probably about three or four times a week now in a month. That's just a ridiculous number to come up with in a month. Does he know that um that you've done porn and stuff like that? Yes, that's my only child. I've been nothing but truthful with him about who his mom is. Okay. If he came home one day and told you, uh, Mom, you know, my friends was talking about me because they saw they found you on Google or whatever. Well, what would be late, your response to too, that? Too late because they have, and it's not something kids can just tap into. Um, you actually have to pay to see it. So they actually saw what they actually saw was previews of actually video, not videos, but I would say pictures. Well, right. But what was your what was your response to that? Um, his, well, I wanted to know how he felt, and his basic response was nobody said anything bad. So basically, it was like, oh, your mama fine, stuff like that. Yeah, and it's not it's not <laughs> something that. It is happened at the bus stop too. So it was at the bus thing. stop. Yeah. Um, what well, happened you know, at the bus stop? Cause you know, well, you know how little boys are. You know how little boys <laughs> are, and they talk about mom's butt and stuff like that. You know, how kids are. Yeah, you got a butt. Well, that's what, <laughs> yeah. that's what conversation <laughs> was having. But he did let me know how he felt about it because we did we do talk about. His so story. how did he feel? So, he just wanted them to stop because he was saying that, you know, when they got to talking about his friend's mom, that he didn't like it. So he was saying, like, you want us to talk about your mom's butt? So he was saying that, you know, they <laughs> they commonly stopped. Yeah, that was the response. Okay. That's pretty much what it was. <laughs> all right. All right. I can dig it. I can dig it. All right. Well, listen, we really appreciate you um, taking the time answering all of our questions. 
Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Well, I have cash app. My cash app is one, the number one powerful queen. Okay, one powerful queen. Yes. Okay. Do you, you have an IG or Facebook, anything like that? Um, I well, I'm redoing my IG, so it's under construction. It's actually nothing there. But um, when I do, I share it on. I share it on my Cash App. I share it on my Instagram, and my, my, I share it on my Facebook and my Cash App. So I kind of like like link them all to link them all together. Okay. Like share in the bio. I'll put it on there. So if you all just keep looking, it'll update. Okay. Say less. Say less. Um, how do they reach you for your OnlyFans? How did how are they gonna find that? Is it gonna be under your industry name? It's gonna be uh, well, more than likely, yes. Um, it'll probably be on my Instagram by then. Okay. More likely, be under but my they don't Instagram know your Instagram. Right? They are gonna be watching that's the video and be that's like, what "I'm saying you give me access." So I'm gonna have to, I'm have to, up, I'm gonna have to update it, yes, update the description. This, this one, All right, we'll we'll, we'll 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 update the description. All right. Well, like I say, Miss, we really appreciate you. And we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, all right? Okay. Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. Thank you. All right.